Hey guys, it's Melissa here. We have been looking at children's book illustrators. We're going to the Eric Carle Museum later this summer, which is a museum for children's book illustrators. And I wanted to do more art projects with my kids that were inspired by our favorite children's book illustrators. So the one I wanted to share with you today is an author and illustrator of this book. Plant Pet. Plant Pet is this beautiful story. I'm sure I've shared it with you before when we've been talking about gardening with kids, but basically it's a story about caring for another living thing, this plant pet creature. And the thing that I love about this story is that the illustrations are very impressionistic. They're really like thick and painterly and they have this kind of look to them. I'm not sure of the medium that um, Elise Primavera uses, but they look a lot like chalk that is wet. It has that washy, wet, painterly technique that works really well for kids chalk. So today we did an activity outside. I just wanted to quickly share this with you where I did an example picture this little person helped me out. This little helper was very active with the chalk as well. And we did some chalk pictures here out on our brick patio. Then I let my little helper here do a water wash over the picture and then we added more chalk over it. So if you've done wet chalk paintings, you know that you get a more intense color, but you can also sort of smudge it with your hands and make the colors bleed together and do color mixing with wet chalk. So inspired by this book by Elise Primavera, Plant Pet, I thought this was a great activity to share with you. Whether you have an outdoor space or you use a chalkboard, like a chalkboard easel indoors, or you can even utilize things like a dark paper and do this at the kitchen table with a little bit of water on a paintbrush. And so what I suggest is you maybe do an example picture for your kids or you let them do some freehand drawing uh, for themselves. Um, depending on the age, sometimes a younger child likes for you to do the picture with them. And we did things like washy clouds in a blue sky. I don't know if you can tell, but I did some clouds down here that looked like a bunny rabbit and a duck and then a traditional cloud on a blue sky background. And we made that all smudgy and wispy like the clouds when the wind blows. I also did just a tree and a sun, very classic, simple, traditional kids kind of picture drawing, but with the idea in the backdrop for us that this is an art technique that someone used for a book that we love. Let me know if you wanna see more things that are sort of kids activities and art projects. We are currently very inspired by some illustrators. Cross hatching is another technique that I'm gonna be doing with my girls. But let me know in the comments below if you do things like this, if you plan art activities based on art or books that are going on in your life or other themes. And as always, I appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you back here on my channel soon. Take care and have a great summer day. Bye-bye.